Hey, what's up, guys? So I have some great news for you guys. Just recently, we got partnered up with Skillcapped, and Skillcapped is a website where they teach you how to PvP competitively, um, mostly arenas, and they make instructional guides by some of the best players from around the world, uh, multi-rank ones, uh, multi-gladiators, and some BlizzCon champions. So they make some really good in-depth arena guides that I don't really do that much on my channel here. I actually got hired from Skillcap, so I'll be making one or two guides a month on that website. Uh, just kind of bonus content that's not going to be on my YouTube channel. Uh, don't worry though, I will be focusing on my YouTube channel more though. It's still going to be my priority, especially with the beta coming out soon. The website does require a subscription fee to you know get involved with it. It's $4 a month, but I do have a referral link down below so you can get a 33% discount if you're interested. And uh, no, I'm not getting paid for the referral link or anything like that. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought you'd be interested. And I also asked them to maybe give me a couple free accounts so I can hook you guys up. You know, gotta hook up the pyromaniacs. So I actually have three free accounts you can have a chance to win in this video if you just leave a like and comment. That's all you have to do. And uh, you might have a chance to win. So anyways, this video is just going to be an example of what my videos are going to be like on that website. So anyways, uh, let me know what you think and I'll catch you later. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Hansel and in this video we'll be going over the different ways to utilize your Dragon's Breath ability as a Fire Mage in arenas and also how to use it at full potential. So let's get started. Dragon's Breath is an instant AoE Conal CC which disorients any hostiles for 4 seconds. This ability is really clutch and there's a lot of different ways you can use it. So it's really nice to actually practice using this ability, especially since it's the main CC for a Fire Mage, which allows you or your teammates to follow up a CC chain off of it and gain momentum of the fight. It's also a fairly short cooldown, so it's up to you to decide if you should be using it offensively or defensively depending on the situation, which we'll be going over in a moment. The best way to optimize this ability would be to try to get a Dragon's Breath Disorient on the whole enemy team. This would allow you to free cast CC along with your partners to give you a clean setup. But obviously this is not always possible since the whole enemy team will never always be stacked up. But it's really just good to be looking for opportunities like this. One of the best ways to win games with Dragon's Breath is to use it offensively on enemy healers. I like to Dragon Breath, then follow it up with a Polymorph, Blanket Silence, or Combustion Stun, which will force them to either Trinket, or you'll force defensives from your target, or if they have no more cooldowns left, you will just score the kill and win the game. So you want to make sure to rinse and repeat this process while putting pressure on the enemy team to drain their cooldowns. Putting out control is just as important as putting out pressure to successfully win games. Another great way to use breath offensively would be to use it on someone that can purge you right before you go for your burst. This will stall and give you and your partners time to position yourselves for CC to coordinate with your burst, allowing you to get clean setups without getting purged. Doing this is extremely important as a fire mage because all your burst potential comes from hot streak procs which is a buff that can be purged. So if you do get purged, you're going to have to wait another 8 seconds to ramp up your burst, which completely shuts you down and kind of can get frustrating. So it's your job to prevent this from happening. Also, since so many classes have so many escapes nowadays, such as Heroic Leap, Blink, Gateway, that it's really good to actually Dragon's Breath the kill target right before you go if your partners have cross DC. That way they cannot escape and you can keep them in place to get a clean setup right when you're ready. When it comes down to the defensive uses of Dragon's Breath, it's really vital that you use it to peel for yourself and your partners when the enemies are popping cooldowns. This can either save your team from using crucial defensive cooldowns so you can save it for later on in the game, or just save your teammate from dying if they have no more cooldowns at all. Also, feel free to use it defensively even if the enemies don't have cooldowns up. That way you can just free cast spam polys on them without being worried of getting kicked or locked out. The last way to use Dragon's Breath defensively is to stop CC on your healer. As simple as it sounds, this is one of the most crucial aspects to using it defensively because it can really stop your team from falling behind in the game. 
For example, if a warlock tries to fear your druid and your druid cannot avoid it, you can easily just dragon's breath it if you're in his face. Go ahead, right, stay, right, get, get to my line, get to my yeah, line. I'm gonna get you back, Shapes. I'm gonna get back here. Taking this spear. I'm gonna stream. Back through the wall, healing. Teleport, teleport. He's gonna howl here. Does he have a howl up or no? Yeah, he does. Right there, I bet there, I bet there. Shooting lock. Let's go, shaman. Let's or if a mage tries to deep polymorph your druid, you can stop the polymorph after the deep lands. Give me mage. I'm working. Pull me, pull me, pull me, pull me. Nice, nice. He's shooting it, get shooting it. Nothing mage. Nice, nice, good job, good job. Obviously, for this, you can just use counter spell as well. So it's not really needed to use Dragon's Breath for this. But there's still a lot of things that Dragon's Breath can do that counter spell cannot do. For example, especially when fighting melee. One problem that I ran into with using Breath was that if I try to Breath the same target right after it comes off cooldown, then it's actually DR'd. So, in order to avoid this, you want to actually wait a couple of seconds before using it again if it's the same target you want to breath. Otherwise, like I said, it will be DR'd. And I know sometimes if it's an emergency, like you really just need to do it now and relieve pressure fast, then feel free to do it. But if you're able to hold off for a couple seconds, I definitely do recommend that you do get the full breath because the 2 seconds versus the 4 second disorient is huge. So now I'm going to go over a couple of examples of me using Dragon's Breath appropriately to win games both offensively and defensively. So in this situation we're fighting Shaman KFC and as you can see everyone on the enemy team has no more trinkets, the hunter does not have pet sack and has no more deters either. So if we can just push it now and get a CC on Shaman and defreeze the hunter with damage then we can actually win the game right here. So I'm going to try to ramp up my hot streak proc right here so I can push in for my deep freeze. I'm going to dot up the hunter, get my proc, I'm going to blink in there, silence the shaman with my counterspell and defreeze the hunter, and chuck my pyros with combust, and then follow up the counterspell with the dragon's breath, with the disarm on the hunter, and down he goes. So as you can see right there, I actually blanketed it before I breathed. There's actually no set rotation, it's all situational. Right there, if I did breath first, I would have to nova the hunter to get my defreeze off, which would break my dragon's breath. So in that situation, it's better to counterspell before dragon's breathing. You'll start to get the feel of what spell you should prioritize first depending on the situation. It's always different so you can never have a set rotation in your mind like PvE and expect it to go well every time. In this next clip I'm going to show a good example of stopping CC to stay offensive. I know I said that stopping CC is a defensive thing to do earlier but in some situations it actually allows you to stay offensive because you're not getting spam sheeped or spam feared. So right here, the mage is going to try to sheep me, so I'm going to Dragon's Breath him, and then free cast a Polymorph on the monk downstairs, and the mage cannot defreeze me to stop it or Polymorph since he's Dragon's Breath. I'm then going to deep the mage here into a Blanket Silence Combustion, so he cannot blink it. And my priest gets a full fear on the lock and the monk. We have a bunch of pressure going on this mage, he's going to blink a little late because of the counter spell, and down he goes. And that right there is a really good example of stopping CC to keep your team ahead. So, to conclude this session, we're going to go over what you learned in this video. As for offensive uses of Dragon's Breath, it's optimal to use it on healers and following it up with Polymorph, Combustion Stun, or any other CCs your teammates might have to offer. Also, CCing enemies that are able to purge you right before you burst to stall and position for CC is another way of countering their counter. You gotta counter the counter. <laughs> also, Breathing the kill target to keep them in place to allow for clean setup so they cannot escape is very, very good. As for defensive uses, Dragon's Breathing to peel your partners when enemies pop cooldowns can save your teammates and also save them from popping their crucial defenses so you can have them for later on in the game. Also, don't forget to peel yourself with Dragon's Breath. Also, Dragon's Breathing to free cast polymorphs or frost jaws will help you stay ahead of the fight. And using it to stop CC such as polys or fears for your healer. Uh, like I said earlier though, this can be both a defensive and offensive maneuver. Also don't forget that Dragon's Breath does DR if you use it off cooldown on the same target. So wait a couple seconds if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching the video guys. Hopefully this helped you get a better understanding of Dragon's Breath for Fire Mages. Now go out there and burn some shit.